President Biden could not hide his disgust at the news from Indianapolis, calling repeated gun violence a national embarrassment and saying this has to end. CBS's Weijia Jang reports tonight from the White House. President Biden hosted a foreign leader in person for the first time at the White House, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga. But it was a domestic challenge that set him off, gun violence. Who in God's name needs a weapon that can hold 100 rounds or 40 rounds or 20 rounds? It's just wrong, and I'm not going to give up till it's done. In the wake of another mass shooting, the president grew defensive when asked why he is prioritizing infrastructure legislation over police reform and gun control. I've never not prioritized this. No one has worked harder to deal with the violence used by individuals using weapons than I have. I'm the only one ever to have passed an assault weapons ban. That was 27 years ago, the last time Congress passed significant gun reform. Today marked the third time the Biden White House has lowered flags to honor victims of gun violence. Every single day, there's a mass shooting in, this, in the United States if you count all those who were killed out in the streets of our cities and our rural areas. It's a national embarrassment and must come to an end. Also today, the White House announced the U.S. would not increase the number of refugees it accepts this fiscal year from 15,000, a historic low set by the Trump administration. But after widespread and fiery criticism from members of his own party, the White House said the president is expected to increase that cap next month. Nora? All right, Weijia Jang at the White House. Thank you.